The saying is, there's no place like home, and we are here with Canadian director Morgan White to talk about his ruby red slippers film, The Slippers, which talks all about the lure and the lore of The Wizard of Oz and Hollywood memorabilia. Yeah, so it's about the unbelievable story of the ruby slippers after the production of The Wizard of Oz uh, ended in 1939. Now, it sounds like, you know, such a harmless piece of movie history, but apparently there's quite the sordid tale around. Oh, yeah. The there's universe. theft. There's uh, backstabbing. There's um, Hollywood legends. Uh, there's stealing from studios. There's lots of weird and wonderful things that surround. Oh, good slippers. stuff. Tell us first about the celebrity. Who do we have? Uh, Debbie Reynolds is the primary celebrity. Uh, oh, she sure. spent pretty much her entire life uh, trying to save Hollywood. She believed that preserving Hollywood costumes, props, and even sets uh, in some cases were, uh, was something that was important to her. So she spent thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars on things when nobody believed that any of this stuff had any value at all. So you spoke to her for your film? Uh, I was able to accumulate some archival interviews of right. her, but I did get to speak to her on the phone, which was a really weird and wonderful experience. Um, I can't for the life of me tell you what she said to me, uh, because the whole time in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking, I'm talking to Debbie Reynolds, oh my God. Uh, she did sing to me, she trailed off into song. What Amazing. she sang, I also don't remember. It must be just like a dream now. It, yeah, it's exactly like a dream. I can just kind of faintly hear it in the back of my mind. <laughs> I can just imagine. Uh, I do like what you said before about, you said, it, I just need an hour of your time. But she said, darling, for me, it's a six hour affair. I have to get ready. And you know, <laughs> yeah, she's a, well, she's, she's a Hollywood icon. She's the only living Hollywood uh, royalty left. There's no one left. And she's that for she sure. She definitely is. Now your film talks a lot about um, preserving Hollywood history, specifically these slippers. So who owns the slippers now? And what are they worth? Uh, the last time that they sold, they were they sold for two million dollars to the Academy of Motion Pictures, or rather to Steven Spielberg and Leonardo DiCaprio, who bought them and then donated them to the Academy. Amazing. Uh, the Smithsonian owns a pair. There's a pair in private hands uh, with a collector in uh, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. who's perhaps not the best custodian of the shoes. Uh, and then the other pair were stolen from the Judy Garland Museum in 2005 uh, and have not been seen since. Amazing. Anybody could own those. And if you're out there, you know who you are. Now, you have become a bit of a collector yourself through this process. So tell the audience about the very cool thing that you own. Uh, well, I own a, a film print of The Wizard of Oz. So it became very important to me to collect as much of the material and ephemera that went into the film. I'm uh, making a movie about collecting. I should be collecting, too. Uh, and I spent y literally years tracking down film prints and elements to put in the movie. I would scour eBay, I would um, buy things on the black market of, of uh, 16 millimeter film trading. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and it's really cool because it adds this feel of uh, collectedness to the film, but also not everything looks the way that you would think that they would look, which is kind of an, uh, an a parallel or, or yeah, parallel to the shoes and the idea that the shoes don't look like what you think that they would look like. Huh. They're brown, they're faded, they don't look as good as they oh. used to. They're You're kind killing of me here. Yeah, I know, that's the crazy thing. And that's the idea is that the shoes that you perceive in the film that you love and you care yeah. about, they're not necessarily what they really are. And I like that idea. The whole idea that, or the, 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 the concept of the movie that I kept pulling back was uh, pull back the wizard's curtain. Mm -hmm. So everybody knows what the ruby slippers look like. Everybody has an idea of what the ruby slippers are, but this is the real story of the ruby slippers and it's not all good and it's not all glamorous Here. and it, they don't look as great as you would think or hope that they would. But you know, we love things no matter how much they age. Oh, totally. And those shoes, they mean something to so many people. Yeah. They mean, th I, and honestly, I don't even think that I'm qualified to completely explain what they mean to people because it's such a personal thing. Yeah. Uh, the ruby slippers and the Oz mean something completely different to me than it does to most people. But I think it's that sense of home and the idea that there is no place like home. Absolutely. And people want to, you know, own these shoes to perhaps um, have that idea surrounding them as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and people grew up with this film and they want to own it. And certainly there is no place like home this spring because Hot Docs is coming. So visit hotdocs.ca if you want to see the slippers and all the other great Canadian films.